most of these girls on Pentacle and Xavier that I get caught. There's a the few that I don't know, and all of a sudden they would be all the ones scoring, and I'd be like, yep. Murphy's Law. <laughs> Get warm, stay warm. This Pinnacle Xavier game on Pinnacle Senior Night out here at Pinnacle Home Field in the North Valley. Got a nice little varsity one, varsity two match up here. Good experience for both teams. Xavier's coming up with this ball. Able to bring it down on the attack side. Pinnacle coming up with this ball. Moving it down the field. Naomi Rosin. Able to bring the ball all the way up the field there. Emma Lewis looking for an opportunity. Beasley able to come up with this ball. Make a quick save. Now trying to work to see if she can find one of her open teammates. This is an opportunity when you want to take take that ball back to the circle, roll it back in, walk back in. Pinnacle coming up with that clear. A little bit of a missed pass. It's going to go back to Xavier. here for the JV game and a little bit of the senior ceremony stuff. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. That's going to be Naomi Rosen coming up with that ball yet again. Dropped it. Able to come up with it. So Izzy Caputi. Izzy Caputi to Bryn Davis, I believe. Trying to match up with Xavier's one there. 
Beautiful ball movement by both of these teams in this first half. I have reason to believe these refs are going to give both of these teams quite the opportunity to just play the game of lacrosse and hopefully minimum stoppage time. Pinnacle is going to play a little bit more of a height game on this draw control. Xavier, definitely one of their top. Able to kind of control where she was putting that ball, knew exactly where it was going, was able to head straight towards it. Xavier taking their time, settling this ball down. Ball's up. check. Great quick up down. Able to disrupt that movement just enough. Xavier's going to get this ball back. Kehlani looking to send this ball up the field. Looks like that player was not quite ready for it. Wasn't quite ready to put some speed on to catch that ball. But Gonna recover. Kenzie Novak looking again to move that ball up. Gretchen to Brynn. I wonder if they're gonna call that a little bit of a dangerous shot. Maybe just check on her. Yeah. Just gonna check on her, make sure she's okay. Uh, sometimes they. Sometimes those direct shots right to the face can be a little difficult and uh, actually be a little disorienting as well. So hopefully uh, Coach Diana over there checks in on her. Xavier doesn't have another goalie right now, so it's imperative that she stays healthy and she's able to uh, either have some time to recover. Xavier might have to change some stuff around, but... Delaney McEwen looking to take this ball right to the inside. Emma Lewis. Uh, Kiana making a great save. Emma just trying to stay out of the crease there. Xavier coming up with this ball. Ooh. A little bit of a high pass. It's definitely going to be an aggressive uh, ground ball game here tonight. Xavier used to playing on turf on their home field there. Pinnacle being on their home field here with this little bit of a tall grass and sometimes some little hidden potholes here and there, but the 8 meters, 12 meters tend to turn in a little bit of dust and dirt. I'm not going to lie, it's a little bit chilly out here, so if we take a little hand warming break on the camera or anywhere else. I apologize, but forget how cold the wind gets occasionally. For those of you watching at home, I hope you're enjoying your nice, warm couches, beds, seats, wherever you are. Gigi able to capitalize. It's her 
second of the night. stick a little odd or kind of bounced and came up. Somebody flicked it up. Savannah sees it looking for an opportunity, a little bit of a lane. There is Delaney McCune. Able to sneak it in on that right side of the cage. A little bit of an assist from Savannah Souza. Might have been a few too many steps or a few a little you know a little too long for an assist but I'll give Savannah the assist on that one. 2-2 two, two, Pinnacle able to match up. Souza with uh, Kiara Briggs and Naomi Rosin for Pinnacle and Gigi and Marley for Xavier. For those of you who may have uh, joined us last night, I know that I was uh, talking a little bit about the fact that you know I've, I've had my hand in coaching a lot of these girls, and this is another group between these two teams. Kaylani Hong just sneaking that in, such a low angle, but such a high velocity shot. Beautiful, right up on the uh, goal line, extended there. That will not be the last one that we see from her tonight. I can almost guarantee it. Once she gets on a, once she has some of that momentum, she's gonna be on. This is a big team of, uh, or I guess both of these teams, just a big group of girls that I have coached in the past, or you know I have um, coached with, coached against. And uh, I couldn't be happier to see some of these girls still playing lacrosse, you know, coaching them from when they were about eight years old, even younger, maybe some of them, but it's fun to see them playing at this level and enjoying it. I also know a lot of them by some different nicknames, so if you hear me saying some nicknames or just first names, last names, whatever it may be, probably what I'm used to saying to them or how I'm referring to them when they're on the field there. Xavier coming up with this ball. Pinnacle capitalizing. Is 
Crazy Capiti sending that ball up. Ooh, Delaney McEwen looking for that shooting space, able to get it. Great catch by David there. They're going to give it a crease violation, though. That's going to be goalie ball. Kiana able to clear that ball up. GG, GG moving this ball quickly up the field. And Pinnacle able to get a little bit of an interception there. Kenzie Novak looking to pick up this ball. Moving it down the field to Savannah, Savannah to Izzy. Definitely a little bit more communication in this game than the last few games that I've seen these teams play. It's a nice little addition to see, especially after some of their spring breaks, after these long breaks, uh, different implementations for the second half of the season. Ball's down. down and Xavier is able to come up with it. McKenna Boyer. Just taking control and bringing this ball across the, the far restraining line. Working her way through any of the defense that they had, that Pinnacle had on that ride. Gigi looking for the right option. A little bit of a pick. Not going to take it. Gigi looking for a crease roll. A little too high for Kaylani Hong there, but it was a really good opportunity. Don't think that'll be the last that we see of that uh, little duo play either. Those two are very strong, both around the crease there. Delaney. Looking to drive, and Lewis has an opportunity. Low angle, passes it off to Izzy Caputi. Looks like there's a save by Kiana Beasley. Pinnacle able to come back up with this as they were closest to the end line when it went out. Looking for the inside lane. Able to keep control of that ball. Going to give it to Pinnacle again here. Able to recover. Inside. Oh, Savannah Suda looking for something quick there. Great, Another great save by Kiana. It's like two, almost three in a row. She might have had a piece of that shot over the top there. McKenna Boyer looking to pass it off. Try and give her midfield a little bit of a break here. Peyton Bryant. Helping our team out here. Another pinnacle interception. Addison Judson. Kenzie Novak coming up quick. Emma Lewis here to help her out. It's going to be a timeout for Pinnacle here. I think some of those uh, Xavier players were hearing the timeout called but didn't realize the ball was still moving and there was actually no timeout called by the refs quite yet. Currently 3-2 to two Xavier. Pinnacle looking to see if they can uh, recover. 
come up with uh, another goal here to match. There's about 10 minutes left in that first half. I believe you guys have a scoreboard and uh, time as well, yeah? Scoreboard and time on the screen tonight. You guys are lucky. Any of those, any of those that joined us last night, we didn't have any of that. I was uh, failing to get a time on my watch that might have been even close to the time that was on the field. You guys have been enjoying these uh, these live streams that South Mountain Lacrosse has been putting up for you. I enjoy coming out here whenever I get the opportunity, and if I get off of work in time, our cameraman's looking a little cold over here, so I'm gonna try and uh, make sure that he stays warm. If he needs to go for a run, I'll let him. Uh, if anybody's listening and sitting in their cars at the Pinnacle game, and you have a few extra layers, uh, we would love for you to. You know, give some donations to the South Mountain Lacrosse <laughs> cameraman. Nah, I'm playing. We're having a good time. And this game seems to be flowing relatively nicely, so hopefully, uh, hopefully it remains this way and we won't be having too many issues. Having to stay cold for too long. Uh, for those of you that aren't in Phoenix or don't know much about the Arizona area, as soon as the uh, sun sets in the springtime, it drops about 20 degrees from what the high was in the beginning of that day. Uh, we were hitting highs of about 80 degrees yesterday, and supposedly our high was, I think, 70, you know, 65, 70 today. And I think we're supposed to go back up to 80 tomorrow. So if that tells you anything about how... Um, we dress out here in the Arizona air in the Phoenix, you know, general Phoenix area. It's a little wild. I'm gonna come back from this timeout. Uh, it started out as Pinnacle's ball, but Xavier's able to recover this. I think it was a little bit of a shot, if not, it was a pass that almost turned into a shot. Kiana Beasley looking to take her time if she has the opportunity. She's definitely taking advantage of those 10 seconds, going behind the net, trying to make as much space as possible. Pinnacle being pretty, pretty high to, or I'm sorry, pretty quick to play a high defense on their ride. Uh, they're usually sending one, uh, specifically Bryn Davis, to play those goalies and add a little bit of pressure. That was a bit of an odd bounce, I'm not going to lie, I think uh, there, somebody was going for a ground ball, it might have bounced up on a stick instead. Pinnacle able to come up with this ball. You hear a lot of settle calls from the Pinnacle sideline, Pinnacle team. Just seeing if they can find a, an opportunity to match the score. Xavier staying relatively close. Addison Judson able to get an opportunity. Kiana Beasley taking another one just to the chest, and it's a great save. Xavier trying to help out Kiana as much as possible. You know, when you're getting a defender pretty much almost immediately on you. It can be difficult to really get your space, get your arms out, be able to clear that ball as far as you want to, or maybe even as much as you can. There's a good check and uh, recovery by Naomi. Delaney to Izzy. Izzy going in. Kehlani seeing if she could get one last check in there and just wasn't able to. She hit that line. Xavier's midfielder's getting a little tired. Hopefully they're able to recover while uh, Pinnacle's doing a little bit of a slow break here. Looking for a cutter, looking for an opportunity. Xavier's defense needs to stay tight, stay tight. 
they see an opportunity to double, they should take it. Like right here. There's a cutter on the inside, Kiara Briggs, and then it just goes to Bryn Davis instead. It's going to be Naomi or Oz into Bryn Davis there. Great shot. Great play. You know, something that I feel like we see a lot in the beginning of these games, especially this one, I mean, we've played through, what? 18 minutes of this half and it's only three to three both of these teams I think have almost all three of the goals if not all three you know all six goals in this game are assisted except for the one eight meter so five goals out of this game are assisted right now from both teams and it's a great great showing for kind of like that unselfishness and, and willing to help another teammate out, giving them assists, not feeling like you need to be the goal scorer. Pinnacle able to come up with this draw control, I believe it was Kinsey Novak. Looking for that inside. I think she was looking for Hannah Leakey there. Izzy Caputi found that ground ball. Pinnacle able to take another opportunity. Probably another slow break opportunity here. Delaney McEwen looking for another one. Oh, great crash by Xavier. Looking for her second opportunity, her second drive. Oh, there was a ground ball. I missed that coming out of her stick. taking their time looking for the right opportunity not just any opportunity but definitely the right opportunity here Xavier defense definitely playing hard playing quick Emma Lewis shot right into the body Kiana Beasley looked like David was just checking in making sure helmet's still intact that's the second one she's kind of gotten to the face there Glad to see that our refs are making sure the goalies are okay, kind of in between, giving them an extra second just to, just trying to make sure that they're okay. To any teams that are supplying goalies with their goalie equipment, just make sure all your stuff is updated. It's not, it hasn't been sitting around in storage all year round, up until lacrosse season. Best thing you can do is just make sure that, you know, the uh, throat guard and everything's screwed in properly and things are not kind of eroded and, and broken. But I'm just glad to see these refs taking and putting in a little bit of an extra effort to make sure that these goalies are okay. Kehlani Hong looking for something here. Oh, McKenna Boyer trying to sneak one in. It's kind of slipped out of her stick. It was a little bit of a weird catch. Izzy Rundle's able to come up with that ball. Pass it off to AJ. AJ looking for that far pass to Emma Lewis. Savior defender not even realizing. Oh. Boyer looking for an opportunity to get that ball out. Uh, Looks like a little bit of a pick. Delaney seeing if she can pull a shooting space. She's unable to. Ball's gonna go back to Xavier. I couldn't quite tell you what that was. It might have been a little bit of an illegal pick. 
I didn't see much much of a motion from the ref. Hanaliki seeing an opportunity. Delaney looking for that lane. Three minutes left in this half. Gretchen is looking for something. Pinnacle taking their time. No need to rush. They still got a whole second half of this game. Oh, almost a little bit of an off-ball push. If there was, if there was more of an upper ref from my point of view, I would have thought they might, they might uh, call that. I think that she was just caught a little off guard, to be quite honest. That's uh, Maddie Hunt. She looks like she's okay, though. Might have been a little surprised by the two Xavier players in and around her. She's going to get an 8 meter here. Might have been a little bit of a check to the head, too, uh, which is why they're giving her the 8 meter. Maddie Hunt able to sneak that in. Off that eight meter. One of the standout freshmen on this pinnacle team as well. Got two minutes left in this half. This is the first time pinnacle has been up in this game. Four to three. Pretty close behind her there. Pass to the inside to Delaney. Ball bounced up. Pinnacle coming back up with this ball. a minute left. Bryn Davis trying to sneak in. Keep it in her right hand. She's able to. Just sneak it right past the left side of Kiana there. That's a hat trick for Bryn in this first half. You know, on shot and some of those shots, it'd be nice to see some of these girls switching over from, you know, right to left hands, trying to get comfortable. You know, when they have, even when they have games like this where they have opportunities, it's it's just a game for the season, not necessarily in their division. Um, this is the time to try new things, try things out. It's not going to hurt. Xavier coming up with this ball, Gigi, Rubier. Kilani Hong with this ball. Does a little bit of a stare down. 
does a little bit of a stare down to get in front of her opponents here. sure they have some backers. Izzy Rundle able to see that ball, save that ball. Kehlani and Rundle being teammates at one point with uh, Team Arizona and a handful of these girls have been teammates uh, in the past few summers with Team Arizona. So they know a lot of the intricacies, the, the little niches that some of these girls have. That's the end of our half going to be pinnacle five, Xavier three. Going to have about a 10 minute halftime here. I might pull my headset off at some point, but uh, maybe I can give you a little bit of entertainment before then. Coach Reggie over there. Who, I don't know if it, it, uh, you can't see it on the camera yet. I'm sure you might walk into it. Oh, maybe not. No, you decided to turn the other way. Coach Young, Coach Reggie there. An ample, you know, big piece to this team, both varsity and junior varsity. Just an overall amazing coach, amazing guy. And I uh, couldn't thank him enough for helping me get through some of those hard days in high school. And I know he's working to help as many of these other girls get through as well. I think he's been here for nearly seven, eight years now, something along those lines. So he's he's making his mark, making his impact, and definitely has. He might have one more star than I do for this program. It's possible. Uh, Xavier over here with Coach Diana Odahu. And I might have just butchered her last name, so I apologize, Dee, if you're listening to this later, but Coach Diana just really, you know, doing whatever she can with this team. I believe this is her second or third year. I want to say her third or, sorry, her third or fourth year with this team. And, uh, you know, she's played a lot of her seasons with a lot of these players. They, they're they still a relatively young team. I think majority juniors grades on here, but I think a majority of them are kind of like that sophomore, junior age, and definitely getting just kind of like, uh, you know, a few of the handfuls of girls coming through from the JV program, moving up into that varsity program. I think this will be an interesting second half of this game. Both of these teams, very strong competitors, very strong second half competitors. 
Um, what I hope to see is just a very clean game, kind of similar to what we did in this first half where we were able to cruise through a little bit and make sure that, uh, you know, nobody's getting hurt, everyone's staying safe. Do our best to have a clean, clean game, clean fight out here and do whatever we can. Definitely a lot of people out here just trying to stay warm. Cameraman may or may not be included. <laughs> Chris decided to go take a trip up to Colorado, so honestly, I don't think we can complain. I think they're a little bit colder than we might be. Uh, so I've got Colin, the cameraman, to join us tonight in our little compact setup. Hopefully all's going well with you guys and do our best to keep you as updated as possible and hopefully all's well. I don't know if you had heard, overheard any of that conversation, but just talking about how small of a world this lacrosse community is on both the men's and the women's side over here. So it's always nice to find these little little niches with other friends, other people that we know. Start of the second half here. Pinnacles, uh, Kiara Briggs coming up with that ball. Naomi Rosin going in for that shot. Beautiful shot by Naomi. First of the day, but she has been capitalizing on any of the um, assists for this team. I know she's got a few of those. I don't. I don't quite keep track of those. Otherwise, I'd have too many markings on my my little paper over here. But I know she's had at least, uh, I want to say, maybe two and or three of these assists. Xavier staying relatively consistent with this draw control, draw circle setup. Gigi Marley on the edges, McKenna Boyer looking for this draw control. Pinnacle doing the same. Savannah Souza. Kiara Briggs, Naomi Rosin, Naomi looking to drive, unable to find it, tried to pass it off to Izzy Capiti there, Izzy not able to uh, fully catch that ball, but Bryn Davis quick to pick up afterwards. shot from Kiara Briggs there. Shot and goal. Number 24, Kiara Briggs. Again, I'm going to apologize for the wind, so if uh, there's a little bit of a reverb here. Uh, Pinnacle's Pinnacles Field is a little bit of a bowl, which is why they've had a you know a game or two rescheduled, uh, and due to rain a few weeks back, and uh, yeah, they tend to have a little bit more wind than a lot of these other fields do. So, apologize if there's a little bit of extra noise on the back end here. Xavier switching this up. Looks like Kaylani Hong taking the draw with McKenna Boyer on the circle and Gigi. Oh, Kaylani looking to keep this pretty close to the close to the chest. She does have to go up with the ball though, so that's what David's gonna reset this draw control for. There was no uh, false start or uh, yeah, false start, and uh, they, the ball just needs to go above. The draw taker's shoulders. That 
that one might have been a little bit borderline, but it had enough of an upward motion to it. I think David was going to let it go. Kehlani able to come up with this ball. It's a little bit of a check. A few sticks into the face. No call. All incidental. Nobody, nobody feeling it. Brynn looking for a pass to the inside. Delaney looking for a shot. Unable to get it. There's the shooting space. Bound to happen when you got four or five people in that eight meter and you've got a shooter looking to, uh, you know, set a fake. Kind of throw her, throw her shot there. They're actually going to shift her over into the middle of hash there. Delaney McEwen. It's currently eight to three. Pinnacle. Just about two and a half minutes into this second half. A little bit of a different momentum in the second half. I, I feel like it took us a little while to get started in that first. So I wonder if uh, Kayla Christensen had a little bit of a rev up talk with these, this Pinnacle team here. Looks like we've got Gretchen Maddie and Kinsey Novak on this circle. Gretchen taking the draw. Xavier able to come up with it. McKenna Boyer carrying the ball right now. Marley McCluskey passing, passing to her sister Claire McCluskey. Nice to see those two finally on the same field as well. Marley, uh, I believe a junior this year and her sister Claire being a freshman. Both very impressive players for their age groups and it's nice to see them playing with one another on the same field. Kehlani looking just for a shot opportunity. Gets it checked out by Kenzie Novak. She's looking to get this ball back if she has the opportunity. Looks like she was able to get enough of a stick on Kenzie Novak's pass that she was able to just disrupt it enough. Kiana dropping that ball. Pinnacle coming up right behind her. Looked like there may, may have been just a little bit of added pressure. Maddie Hunt. Oh, Maddie Hunt sending that right into the Kiana's chest. Kiana getting this ball on the crease. Taking her time. Looking to just get that ball out of her attack side. Maddie Hunt looking for another shot. Able to sneak in that left side. Great shot by Madeline Hunt. Xavier definitely struggling to get this clear out. Looks like they just need to add a little bit more communication down on that side. I think we're going to be taking a timeout for Xavier. I think this is a great idea by Coach D. Just kind of regroup and figure out what's going on, what's lacking, where, where are they uh, where they need to you know, maybe fix some just like minor problems. Still early enough in the second half. There's plenty of time. Six points is nothing. I've seen teams come back from seven point differentials, eight, nine. There's 21 minutes left in the second half, essentially. There's more than plenty of time. Pinnacle needs to stay hot, keep the momentum. And even if they can get this clock to running time, they'll probably feel better about it. I have a feeling Xavier's not going to let it happen.
just trying to get this game going. I think they're both cold. I wouldn't be surprised. I'm sure they're doing what they can to keep as warm as possible as well. Starting this drop here. Savior overloading the uh, attack side here. I'm sorry, the defensive side here. Oof, I was looking at their attack side, looking at three players. Xavier looking to overload the defensive side, which is uh, totally fair. Totally, you know, in the rule book totally allowed as long as there's a certain number of players on the field they can essentially be placed anywhere they want just as long as they keep three in the middle Delaney McEwen getting an opportunity for an eight meter here sneaking it right past that left foot of Kiana Beasley that's Delaney's hat trick of the night Xavier's looking to keep five players back on this defensive end, kind of overloading it while keeping three of the attackers down on their attack side. Uh, likely forcing one of their middies to stay down on this attack side. Um, I can imagine Kehlani Hong aggressive, getting aggressive in here and I expect nothing less. Xavier really trying to do whatever they can to get this ball out here. Get this ball back. Get another shot opportunity. Claire McCluskey passing that off to McKenna Boyer. Boyer seeing if she can find a lane. Xavier taking their time. Again, kind of having that moment that Pinnacle had earlier where they're not looking just for a moment, they're looking for the right moment, the right opportunity. Luckily in this high school game there is no shot clock, so they can play this quote-unquote stall game. It's not much of a stall. Uh, more so, just really trying to uh, put their plays to work, make sure they're they're hitting all the right players open. McKenna Boyer looking to switch that left hand. Kind of looked like there was a flag in her stick as it went through, unless I'm just seeing things. Oh, it might have been the back of Addison Judson stick. It's just very bright yellow. Kayla 
Tony looking for an opportunity in the middle. McKenna Boyer open. Rondo was almost not ready for that. I don't think she realized that that ball was... I don't think she realized that ball was with McKenna Boyer. Kehlani with the little fake. There's a shot. That's going to be Izzy Rundle's ball there. Rundle taking her time here. Pinnacle really not in any rush. There's a great pass to Kenzie Novak. Gigi doing whatever she can to see if she can get that ball back. Delaney unable to pick up that ball. They're going to lose it on the, uh, the end line there. There was no shot. It was just a pass. So good call by the ref there making sure that that ball goes back to Xavier. for a roll from behind. Pinnacle coming back up with this ball. I think it had off the, uh, the pipe. Gretchen is just barreling down the field here. Emma Lewis. Trying to sneak one in. Looks like it just went off the left side. in some situations like this people can get frustrated with one another and communication becomes a little bit more difficult but I know this is a uh, this is one of those times that coach Diana wouldn't let that happen there's gonna be an early entry early entry by Xavier uh, or I'm sorry by Pinnacle, it's going to be Xavier Ball. I do believe that ball should have gone back to McKenna Boyer, uh, but it seems as though Kehlani was close enough to uh, start up that ball. GG getting double teamed. Somebody's open on the Xavier team. They're all kind of clumped together. I'm not sure they knew who was open. Playing a little bit of a bookends defense for Pinnacle. Sending that double team and kind of Boyer's going to be a shooting space. It's a great defense played by Pinnacle. Definitely one of those. Uh, situations where it does get a little bit difficult to play 
and not get a shooting space, but there's a great save by Izzy Rundle. Having a great night on her senior, senior night here. Balls up to Kiara Briggs. Briggs to Savannah Souza. Savannah may be looking to take this all the way herself. A little bit of a check. A little bit of a trip. I think she's just dusting off some dirt. They're gonna give this ball to Xavier. He's saying Xavier was closer to the end line here. Might have might have actually been the goalie. Oh, that ball is difficult to see on that building color. It's gonna be pinnacle ball. I can imagine that whoever was trying to catch the ball, that might have been Marley. Had a hard time seeing that color differential on the on the building there. Delaney looking for a, just a shooting space. Anything. Looks like a little bit of a checking the sphere there. Sticking the sphere. Second inside hash. Big hard shot down low. Delaney, number 26. Gonna put us at 12-3 for this game. One more pinnacle gets running time. I'd like to see Xavier try and come back on this a little bit. Oh, I apologize. I tried to stop the on and it didn't quite work, so it sounded a little bit more extravagant than it did, so I apologize for that. I'd like to see Xavier come back, see if they can get at least one or two more goals, and I think there's early entry on White from the uh, outside, the ref on the outside of the circle there. I wonder if some of these girls in the circle are stepping in and or on the circle just a little too early, getting caught by the refs now, they're trying to pay a little bit more attention to it. Call a little bit of a push here. That's what I assume happened, not much of a signal. So I'm gonna take my best guess here with uh, some of these calls. There's a shot. Claire McCluskey looking for something. Is Yoronda getting a piece of it? Xavier coming up with this ball. Kaylani getting that fake in there. There it is. There's the pass. There's the shot. Claire McCluskey looking again. Izzy Rundle shutting her down. Both of these goalies kind of opting for these shorter clears, trying to maintain ball possession. Not a bad idea, especially on some of these a uh, little bit chillier games or some of the games where you do see uh, uh, players, teammates struggling to uh, catch some of those higher up balls, maybe with the lights, maybe with something else. It happens. You can kind of change around your your uh, your plan and make some of these clears a little bit shorter. Kalani looking for a rocket of a shot down on the five hole there. Kalani Hong. Second of the night. Ten minutes left in the second half. It's twelve to four for Pinnacle. I 
how much Izzy Rundle could have done, not much any goalie could have done in, in face of that shot. Kailani Hong's got just an absolute rocket of a shot, bullet of a shot, similar to Jackie Jimenez from last night. Both of them just have so much power and just able to get kind of a full body motion into their shot. It's amazing to watch, amazing to see, especially as it, you know as it's kind of developing. A little bit of a push down in the hip. They're actually going to give her a hash. They're going to give her the outside hash, it looks like. She's kind of borderline on the eight there from my perspective, but I'm pretty sure it's the outside hash. Looking for a pass to Marley McCluskey. McCluskey not able to see the opportunity. I was wondering if he was going to get that. A little bit of a stick in the head, stick in the sphere. So they're going to put uh, McCluskey back on the dot in the back, looking for a pass to the inside. GG, turning, shooting, Izzy Rundle able to come up with that save, making it look like a piece of cake over there. Long pass to Lila Ravenscroft. Lila to Savannah. Savannah dropped that pass. Peyton able to pick it up in the middle. Claire moving it up. Kehlani putting on the speed to see if she could save that ball. Oh, man. Xavier just trying to maintain possession of this ball. Pinnacle able to pick it up. Kiara Briggs looking for that shot, takes it. Great shot by Kiara. Maintain this five man defense down with Xavier. I think it's a great idea. It sounds like they had some decisions made down on the uh, defensive end of their field, too. And they, you know, just communicating it with their coach that's definitely a different level of respect. Uh, letting him know, hey, you know, this is what we're going to do. We're going to switch it up a little bit. Like, this is what we see from the field. Coach D just letting it happen, letting it be. McKenna Boyer looking for an opportunity. Honestly, I think that that shows how how much trust there is on both sides, both ends of this field, from their coach and coach into their players. You know, it's it's a completely different perspective when you're on the field. Especially when you've been there before. Most of the coaches in this league have played at one point in their life. And you know, he, you kind of have to learn and accept, like, hey, yeah, you, you do have a different perspective. You have a different vision on what I'm seeing on this field. And even me commentating, I can, I can say some things. I can s tell you what I see, tell you what I think. And uh, it might not be the same thing that one of these players would give you. Xavier really slowing down, just trying to take advantage of any of the uh, opportunities they have, opportunities they get. I think this is a good idea. It's an out of division opponent. This game is just for an overall. Both teams are just trying to make themselves a little bit better, see something a little bit different. I think this is a great, great play, great job. That's a great save by Izzy Rundle. Great shot by McKenna Boyer. 
had a great recovery by Kaylani Hong. GG looking for another one here. Probably gonna get a shooting space. Maybe check into the body. Oh, that's Marley McCluskey, not a, uh, not Gigi. My bad. Marley was coming up from behind. Marley sinking it in that top right corner of Izzy Rundle, top left corner to the viewers here. Marley's first of the night. Yeah, for those of you that haven't noticed yet, Izzy Rundle is a left-handed goalie. Definitely not very common to see in the game of lacrosse and uh, very often sought out by a lot of teams. It's hard to teach your girls how to shoot on a left-handed goalie, uh, especially if they're used to having and playing with a lot of those right-handed goalies. up. McKenna Boyer coming up with this ball. Xavier getting some momentum on this draw control. You know, they, they started out really, really strong on that draw control. There's another rocket by Kehlani. Right at that five hole. Kehlani Hong for a hat trick tonight. Great shot. I think that I truly think that took less than 10 seconds for that to go from the draw to that shot. It's often said that it only takes a minimum of 7 seconds from draw to goal. You can shoot a goal in 7 seconds. You'll hear it to the day you die in lacrosse. In women's lacrosse, at least. Men's might be a little bit different, but I know for us, you hear it often. There's a check by Gretchen. Marley just trying to get possession of this ball. Kehlani able to come up with it. Just getting a little bit lower in this tall grass. Can be difficult when you're changing from different uh, different textures. I mean, even having having turf to grass. Makes a huge difference. That's a good little interception by Izzy. Kind of a little bit late, but she's able to just get enough to uh, have a disrupted pass. And I thought they were gonna call it as a shot at first, but they didn't. They uh, it actually went off of Izzy. Xavier player didn't touch it. Gigi looking for that shot. Izzy Rundle making a beautiful low save. Maddie Hunt able to recover the ball. After it popped out, AJ looking for a pass up the field. Gretchen keeping it in front of her. What I'm also just noticing now is that this side of the field is a little bit darker than the other side. Looks like they've got a few lights out in these uh, stadium lights. So it's looking a little bit darker. We've got about three minutes and 40 seconds left in this second half. Looking for a timeout call here from the Pinnacle sideline. I think this is a great opportunity for Xavier to come up with a plan too. Pinnacle looking to figure out what they want to do for the last portion of this half. While we're kind of waiting on this, uh, this quick little timeout, uh, I'll put in my my little spiel, and I say by my little spiel, I mean Chris's little spiel of, uh, you know, we, these uh, these guys at South Mountain Lacrosse, South Mountain Sports, have a scholarship fund that 
they help a lot of these girls, you know, have an opportunity in college, play in the next level, play a game that they love, and um, it's all based off of donations from our viewers. So, if you want to help us kind of build up the game of lacrosse, build up the game of women's lacrosse in Arizona here, we'd much appreciate any donations towards that scholarship to help send a lot of these girls off and play in the next level. It's an amazing opportunity. I was able to do so myself and I couldn't, you know, I couldn't I couldn't give you more good things about it. It's definitely worth the time that they spend their training all year round. Another benefit that we have here living in Arizona is playing lacrosse all year round, but these girls do whatever they can to get in shape and get recruited. They put in a lot of time and effort and having this scholarship fund definitely helps recognize a lot of these girls. So any donations towards that would be much appreciated. I just enjoy being out here, so if I can be a little extra commentary and a little extra motivation for you to donate towards that scholarship fund, I will be out here more often. Just put it in the comments for Mr. Chris there, and he'll make sure that I show up to more games. Pinnacle starting up with this ball. Looks like they're going to slow break it a little bit. Just kind of take their time, look for the cutters in the middle. Xavier playing a little bit higher out, a little bit more. Uh, High pressure defense. Maybe see if they can get one, maybe two more opportunities here. Pinnacle definitely looking for these cutters in the midfield. Falls down. Marley charging up the field. Looks like Hannah Leakey's right there with her. Trying to keep up player all the way up to that restraining line, playing her all the way down. Passing this ball off to Kehlani. Kehlani seeing if she can find a lane. Moving it out. Back to Marley. Looking for a crease roll. Not able to find it. Turn back. Pass it off to Gigi. Gigi looking for it on the right side of that net. Maybe looking for a little bit of a wheel action there. Able to sneak on the inside. Get low. Stay low. Great shot by Gigi. That is also a hat trick for Gigi tonight. Kehlani, Gigi for Xavier. Then we've got Bryn Davis and Delaney McCune. Maddie Hunt's close to one as well. Kiara Briggs has got two. A lot of different shooters on both of these teams here. We've got two minutes left in the second half. I have reason to believe that if Pinnacle comes up with this ball, they might try and stall it for these last little, this last two minutes, maybe even just like the last minute and a half or so, take that last 30 second opportunity to take a shot, move the ball around, whatever they, they feel like they're going to do, but it looks like they're going to do a little bit of a stall. We got nothing to, nothing to lose here. Delaney, right on the inside. Bryn Davis, they tricked me out. I thought they were going to hold that ball. They were looking for another one. Great shot by Delaney McEwen. Great assist from Bryn Davis. One minute, 23 seconds left. One minute and 23 seconds left until we can break down and start running towards our cars to get a little warm. <laughs> Might be the quickest breakdown I've done with these guys yet. <laughs> Xavier.
Xavier coming up with this ball. Great pickup by McKenna Boyer. McKenna Boyer looking to see if she could get an opportunity just a little high for Gigi there. Look like might have been. I don't think that's Claire. Who is that? Can't see that far. Can't tell you who recovered that ball. But that looked like that was Claire McCluskey down in the in the eight meter there. Oh, they were gonna give her just an extra moment there on the uh, eight meter, making sure that they stop the clock. Inside, McKenna Boyer looking for an opportunity, not able to find it. Looked like there was a little bit of a face-to-face -face collision. Kaylani looking for another pass. A little too far ahead for Claire there. Looks like Taylor Conti's trying to come up with this ball. Ball's gonna be out. That's gonna be Xavier's ball. Xavier needs to get going. Five seconds left here. One last opportunity. That's gonna be Pinnacle 14, Xavier 7. At the end of game time. We appreciate you guys coming out to view and watch this game. Um, to be quite honest, I, I'm not quite sure when the next one is. I believe it might be next Tuesday. Uh, I couldn't recall who the opponent is, but you know what? Just best thing you can do to know is uh, subscribe, get notifications, turn those guys on. Um, any live features, live games, or any uploads that South Mountain Lacrosse has, you will be notified. Uh, yeah, no, I, we appreciate you guys coming out. We're going to do the quickest breakdown we've ever had, and uh, we hope you guys have a great night.